Hello everybody and welcome to another video with Iron Gwyn. Yay! And today we have a review of a, we have a very different type of review to look at. Now this is a Lego review, unlike my last one, which was a review of a McFarlane Walking Dead set. This one is a review of a type of set I don't normally look at. So this is my review of set number 41383 called Olivia's Hamster Playground. This is from the Lego Friends set. This is from the Lego Friends theme released in 2019. It has 81 pieces, one minifigure, and it costs £8.99 or £9. Which it, and it's 11 p per piece, which is not too good. So, the reason I have this set is because it comes with three hamster pieces. A grey one, a brown one, and a creamy one. Now, if you've looked at my videos in the past on this channel, you'll know that I used to have three gerbils. A grey one, a brown one, and a cream one. The grey one was called Digger, the brown one was called Nibbles, and the cream one was called Sandy. They died at the beginning of 2020, but... I got this set around that time as a way of remembering them. So, here, here the set is. I am ready to review it now. So, let's get into it. Now, this set comes with multiple different pieces. So, I will talk about them separately. So, first, let's take a look at this here. So this is a hamster wheel. So if I put nibbles here on the bike in the middle, then I spin this at the back, the wheel moves, but the bike stays the same unless I start moving it faster and then the bike does get a little bit caught. And you can see on the back here, this is what I'm turning. That on the front, that flame symbol is a sticker. And this control panel on the back here is also a sticker. And this is supposed to be so the mini doll can control the speed that the hamster, or in this case gerbil, is moving. So next up is this slide. It has a sticker on each side. And the way it works is you get one of the gerbils to climb the ladder. You put them at the top and they slide down. Very simple. Next is this race car. And the way it works is you put one of the gerbils on it and then you move it around. It's got no actual wheels, but there are these little cone builds. So I suppose that the idea is you set them up and then you just drive the car around them. The last two things in this set are this hoop and this sign. The sign has this on the back to keep it up. It is a sticker and it shows a gerbil on a race car. The hoop is the final thing in this set and I believe the idea of it is you just make one of the, the gerbils jump through it. So now let's take a look at the gerbils. So here are Sandy, Nibbles and Digger. These are the three hamster pieces um, that are exactly the same colour as my gerbils were. So, or close enough. I don't think these are unique pieces. Or unique colours. They each have individual face printing to make them slightly different, which I think is adorable. And I absolutely love them. I have them displayed next to my Ironguin figure all the time. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about them. Finally, I'd like to take a look at the minifigure of this set. Now, this is the only mini doll that I own, and the first mini doll I ever got. I really don't know much about mini dolls, so I can't tell you whether um, they normally have torso printing or normally have shoelaces printed, or whether it's normal that the shoes will be different colours to the legs. I, I honestly don't know. I don't know whether it's normal that they have sunglasses or that their hair is rubbery and has holes in it. Yeah, I really can't tell you any of this because I know... Nothing about mini dolls. Uh, is it bad that it doesn't have a back printing? I really don't know. So all I can say is this is an okay looking mini doll. I have absolutely no interest in it. 
I think the Lego Friends theme altogether would be much better with minifigures. But that's just my opinion. So, yeah. I now have a mini doll that will go in a box and never be used now that it's reviewed. So, yeah. Let's take a look at the box and the instructions. So on the front of the box, it has some heart in the top corner. It shows the character. It shows Digger on the little race car going through the um, cones. It shows Sandy jumping through the hoop, which the character is holding. And it shows Nibbles at the back here on the, um, yeah, on the wheel. On the back, it shows how the um, wheel is operated, and it shows that the bike can be taken off. It shows the hoop being detached. It shows the character sitting with the gerbils. And it shows Sandy here using the bike on the slide as a ramp, which I hadn't considered, but that's a good idea. So the instructions show the same picture that is on the um, front of the box. And on the back, they have Win with a Lego Friends character. And I don't think there's any adverts. Oh, there is. So there's a Lego Life ad, and there's some kind of heart box thing from Lego Friends. Yeah, th I really have no interest in this theme, and the only reason I have this set at all is because it has my gerbils in it. So that's it for this video. Um, I will not be rating this set or giving my final thoughts, because I feel like most of this set is nothing to my interest. The only part of this set that I have any interest in at all is the gerbil figures. The rest of it is just there. So, 10 quid for my gerbils was worth it to me. So, yeah. That's all, that's all I have to say. So, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your opinion on this set in the comments below. Uh, in the description, I will leave a link to my gaming channel where I've where I'm currently doing a survival multiplayer server with some of my friends. So if you enjoy that type of thing, go have a look, and I will see you in the next video. Farewell.